I'm Mina Konakovic Lukovic, and I'll give you a short presentation of our NeurIPS 2020 paper called Diversity Guided Multi Objective Bayesian Optimization with Batch Evaluations. This is joint work with Yun Sheng Kian and Wojciech Matusik. A problem that we are addressing in this work is the following Imagine you have an experimental setup with D design parameters, and you're trying to find an optimal combination of these parameters that will satisfy multiple objectives simultaneously. But each experiment is expensive to evaluate. So you have to be very careful with which experiments you want to test, and your total number of experiments can be limited to one or two hundreds. In addition, in many experimental problems, you want to speed up the testing time by evaluating batches of samples in parallel. In this scenario, multi-objective Bayesian optimization has proven to be useful. We present an algorithm that uses a standard Bayesian optimization pipeline, but with several improvements to the components. First, we fit the Gaussian process on the set of input observations for each objective independently. We then extract the approximations of the objectives by simply taking the means of the fitted Gaussian processes. Since we have multiple, often conflicting objectives, there is no single optimal solution, but rather a set of optimal designs with different trade-offs called Pareto front. From the Pareto front, we select a batch of points to evaluate next. We iterate through all the steps until stopping criteria is met. The first two steps are commonly used in other methods. Our main contribution lies in the last two steps of the pipeline. While other methods typically obtain a discrete and sparse approximation of the Pareto front, we use the so-called KKT conditions to quickly discover large and continuous regions of Pareto optimal solutions. A key insight for our selection strategy is that these solutions are often grouped in disconnected regions spread across the space. So we define a diversity metric to encourage sampling from various regions of the space while also trying to maximize the hypervolume improvement. The hypervolume improvement is a standard quality measure of the obtained Pareto front. But in contrast to previous works, our diversity metric takes the knowledge from both design and performance space to better select the batch of next experiments. To illustrate the advantage of our solver and selection strategy, here we show a performance based comparison of a standard test function against other popular and state-of-the-art methods. Our approach, shown on the bottom right, reaches the ground through Pareto front much faster without getting stuck in local minima. We performed extensive evaluations on synthetic test functions and monitored the hypervolume improvement. Our algorithm, shown in purple, consistently outperforms all other methods. We also ran tests on the real-world datasets and again our method achieves better results. We invite you to check more results in our paper and the code is available on GitHub. Thank you for your attention.